expert in isolation. It kind of comes along with the territory when you're an astronaut. And he's now also the author of How to Astronaut. Colonel Terry Verts joining us live this morning to share his experiences, your new book as well. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good to be there. Wish I was in San Diego. <laughs> I do have to ask you, you can tell our viewers where you are and what time is it where you are. <laughs> so it's seven o'clock where I am, but at 7 p.m. I'm in uh, the United Arab Emirates, actually, on the other side of the world. And there's no In-N-Out Burger here. That's the that's the one problem. <laughs> but you have a beautiful living room where you are hanging out. In. <laughs> I do. I don't feel this is not mine, but it's, it's pretty nice. Yes, <laughs> it looks great. And I love that you during commercial break, you said you're clearly on the opposite side of the globe from us. So. It's yes. a treat to have you on this morning. So you've had quite an experience, uh, you know, obviously in your career and this book that you're writing. So let's first talk about that. Uh, being an astronaut, now living through this era of COVID and pandemic, I mean, how have you been? How has quarantine life been for you? You know, surprisingly, it's it's been just like being in space again. Um, during my mission, we actually had several rocket crashes, and when that happened, they delayed our replacement crew. So we got stuck in space, and we didn't know how long we were going to be there, and we were short on supplies because the supply ships kept on blowing up. What? So in a lot of ways, um, 2020 has been like a, a, a flashback to my space time. Uh, you got stuck in space. Can you expand upon that, please? <laughs> yeah, it's not a normal thing to say, I guess. But um, so the Russian Soyuz rocket launches Progress cargo ships, and it also launches people. And our cargo ship blew up on one of these Soyuz rockets. So they wanted to do an investigation to make sure that the people who was my replacement crew would not have the same problem. So while they were doing that investigation, they said, hey, you're not gonna come back on time. We're gonna keep you there so that there's not this big gap in people on the space station. So, and they didn't know how long it was gonna take. So it was when I was commander. So I was basically like, all right, crew, <laughs> we got some bonus time in space here. Um, the good news is NASA, you get tax-free per diem. So that was nice. Okay. I got my $5 a day uh, for, it was an extra month. So I got an extra a few bucks. <laughs> wow. I, I feel like you deserved a lot more than that. But I mean, really, <laughs> I always think, you know, you guys have the best view literally in the universe uh, as an astronaut. But, you know, when you're stuck up there for a while, it must be hard to pass the time, figure out what else you can do other than look out the window. <laughs> well, yeah. So that was a big part of just mentally staying um, okay while we were stuck in space is very similar to what you're doing down here. So in my book, How to Astronaut, this new book, it's a collection of 51 short essays about all aspects of spaceflight. So some of them are normal, how to launch, how to do emergencies, how to do spacewalks, stuff you'd expect. Some of them are not what you'd expect, like what do you do if your crewmate dies? What do you do with his body? Or what do you do if you're stuck in space? One of the chapters is about the comparing uh, being stuck in space with quarantine down here on Earth. So um, there, there's a lot of stuff I talk about. Keeping your attitude up is the most important thing. Yeah. Knowing that it's not going to last forever. Um, it, you know, the world has changed for sure, but we're going to get back and, and, and things are going to, 2021 is going to be better than 2020. In some ways, I think How to Astronaut is kind of an antidote to 2020. <laughs> um, it's positive. It's fun. It's kind of like the best of humanity. It's like the... Uh, anti-election and COVID book, gotcha. <laughs> which is all we've been talking about for a long time now. Oh yeah, and who would have thought, you know, our life here on earth would ever feel like we're out there, <laughs> right? It's it's so similar in so many ways. Um, I just did another project this year called One More Orbit. We set a world record flying around the planet in an airplane, and and I and I I was lucky enough I got to direct a film about it. Um, I was I was going to fly it, that didn't work out, so I ended up directing this One More Orbit film. It just came out, and uh, it's about how exploration can bring people together. But again, it's like an antidote mm -hmm. to 2020 because it's this fun, positive adventure. P people from Russia and America are working together. <laughs> versus, you know, what, what you hear on the news a lot on a day-to-day -day basis. We all need a little bit of, a, you know, that comic relief, yes. too. I'm sure that helps keep us sane. Uh, did you write this book during 2020 or long before all this? So, not at all. It was before. Okay. Um, it was about a year and a half ago. Early 2019, I had a talk with my agent, and I, I love writing. I, in fact, I, the reason I'm here, I just wrote another book uh, in, this, in the last few weeks um, with a friend of mine. So... Uh, I wanted to write a book. I didn't want to write a memoir. This is not yet another yeah. astronaut memoir. I wanted to write it myself. Many astronaut books are not written by the astronauts. There's mm -hmm. ghostwriters, but I, but I wrote this myself. And I just wanted to make something that was fun, that was accessible, that's not 
it's not like a science. You don't have to be a space nerd to okay. enjoy this book. Anybody can do it. Yeah. I talk about, I use all that NASA acronyms and I make fun of all of them and I use plain <laughs> English. And so hopefully and it's written say, in a down to earth, you know, it's a great, is it's it, Christmas is coming up. It's a perfect Christmas present for men and women, young and old. Um, that was my goal was to make something that you would laugh and say, wow, those are my right. two goals. Colonel Terry Verts, thank you so much. How to astronaut. Oh man, that's gotta be a good one. And enjoy your time in Dubai. <laughs> Thanks <laughs> for having me, but I'm like looking forward style. to my in and out burger yeah. one of these days. <laughs> we'll try to ship one over to you. <laughs> that'd be great. I'll tell you, I'll send you my address. <laughs> right. Good to see you this morning. Thank you.